So we have salty, tangy, briny, crushed potato chips. Oven's getting nice and hot. Uh, 400, 425, you want a nice hot oven for this. And then I'm gonna add some fresh thyme and lots of fresh dill. For the coating for the fish to make the potato chips stick to the fish, um, I'm using a base not of mayonnaise, but of aquafaba. I'm gonna cut that with some Dijon mustard. And I'm gonna add some granulated garlic and granulated onion to that, about a half a palmful of each. The fish already has salt and pepper on it. You take your tilapia or whatever white fish you're using and you slather it. See there? I mean, like really coat that sucker with your mixture on both sides and then drop it into your herbs and crushed chips and work carefully to pack the chips on evenly. And then put it onto a parchment lined piece of paper to brown up and cook through in our nice hot oven. So we're gonna make an oil and vinegar slaw to go along with that. I use just plain white distilled vinegar for this as the base. I sweeten it up with super fine sugar, about a quarter cup to about a third of a cup of the vinegar. Fair amount of salt, a little pepper, and in any slaw salad that I make, I put a good palmful of celery seed in there. A little vegetable uh, or neutral oil, oil that you can see through, a few tablespoons. I've got some white cabbage. I like some spicy radishes in there. I've got some parsley tops. I've got some red cabbage too, in case you can't find the white or the green. Uh, little uh, red onion, because I love onion. And a little carrot for color and extra crunch. Um, on TV, I do this. At home, I do this. <laughs> You put your giant crunchy fish fillet down, top it with a little bit of lemon. I serve some spicy garlic pickles alongside. I know. <laughs> and then a big old mound of our oil and vinegar slaw.